All right, so today we're going to be covering another trendy effect and probably you know what I'm talking about. That is a GSAP cursor change on hover. And I'm sure you've seen this on all these awards websites and probably you're wondering how they made them. Well, we're going to do this today. So whenever you hover, for example, on an image or a card or whatever, the cursor will change and inside the cursor, basically you would have a circle and inside that circle, you would have either an icon, an image, text, or yeah probably that's it because what else would you add I am sure that you might think why would you do that honestly I think obviously from an aesthetic, aesthetic point of view it's very interesting it adds a little bit of ooh, what is this effect also attracts attention on the object that you want the, your users to focus on so I think it's also aesthetic and useful so let's get into it. All right, as you can see, this is what we are having right now on the page. Let me just have a look at the page itself. So for example, yeah, we have a lot of images. We're gonna be working with images, but you can have anything you want. And once you hover over that thing, for example, like this, you'd have, in my case, I have shop now. This is what I chose to have, right? And basically every image that you hover on will show you the same text or change of cursor. But we have an issue here, for example, okay? The image is hoverable, but since we have an absolute element over the image itself, which obviously is layered on top of the image, we cannot have, we cannot access this effect. So the, what we can do in this case is Simply, let's go back to Elementor and what you can do is simply add the same class that you have on the image. And the class that I have is this. You can name it whatever you want, it's up to you. All right, let's publish and let's see how this works. And as you can see, now it works. So we're off and on, off and on. So this is how you can fix this problem. All right, now, now let's go back to our code. So where I put this code, because we want this to be accessible on all the pages, right? Unless you want to have this effect only on certain page, then just add this code in, on the, that certain page, respective page. All right, so go to Elementor and go to custom code and you will add a new code here. So basically you do this, you name your code, whatever you want it to, 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 to be named, and then add your code. Let me just go back to my code. So let's go to first to the GSAP part of it and make sure that you add it at the body end for this to work properly. All right, so this is the code that I'm talking about and let's go a little bit over it. So what you would need to change is basically this part here and this is the, the class that you would add onto the image or element that you want the cursor to change when you hover over it. So whenever you see this image grid, image grid, you would change it with your class. Keep that in mind. Obviously, you can also change this value here and that would mean that your cursor change will either be faster or slower when it appears over so let's let's just try this so i'm gonna go to nine and you will see how long it takes for the effect for the hover effect to take place all right wait we need to to change it in not only there and here as well my bad Okay, let's update. Let's go and refresh this page. So it's pretty fast, right? Let's go to minus one, uh, equal to one. Update. Refresh. And as you can see, it takes some time. And it's also kind of like buggy. So the value that we have and works the best is this. Obviously, you can have a play around with this code and see what works best for you. 
but in my opinion this is the best setup it's very nice very smooth very clean very very elegant so that's what we want all right okay so let's go to the html part of this cursor as you can see i merged both the style and the html basically the html and css together and this code uh, it gives you the structure and the, uh, the style of the cursor so you would make the changes here all right as you can see this is our cursor the plain cursor that you see the one in yellow the one that it's small at the beginning and that is basically here you would change the color let's go and change the color to let's say red okay because this would really show you would see the difference immediately all right as you can see this is our basic cursor right and now the cursor changes to yellow because we did not change the color for the cursor that changes on hover so let's say red as well so this is the one that shows us the text let's reload and as you can see it's red okay and either you can have text in or let me just comment this out and i am going to switch to our image which is an arrow if i remember correctly from my testing <laughs> All right, let's update. And as you can see, we have an arrow showing here. I mean, this is pretty cool, right? Other things that you can change here are the cursor size. So we could go down to 50 pixels, for example, instead of 100. And this would be a little bit smaller, obviously, like this. But I think they're more interesting if we have the cursor at 100. It's more prominent. What else? Ah, so the color of the text, if you have text, you would change it in here. And that's about it at this point. Okay, let's comment this out and let's go back to our text and let's change it to something else to view project update and let's go and so how cool right i mean it's so simple but it's so underrated at the same time i think it's beautiful all right so to make it clear for example we have this image right and if we delete the class, let's see what happens, right? Let's refresh. And as you can see, if the image does not have the respective class that we have in our GSAP code, then the mouse does not change. The mouse only changes on the images that have or the elements that have that class. So keep that in mind. Yep. And I think this is pretty cool. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.